Hey guys, Target Cycle FPV, and we are now going to go to video number four, and this is going to be if we're going to load an R9M module. This is not an access module, R9M 2019. This is just a standard R9M long range module before they did the R9M 2019 access. So if you have this one, uh, this video will apply. If not, I will be doing the 2019 version next when I upgrade the radio using an access module, but for right now, we're just going to follow this one in case this might help you. For some of you who can follow along, this same steps apply if you're using the access version, but I am not going to be loading the access firmware on here, so my menu options will be a little different. Here it goes, okay? Here's what we're going to do first. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get our radio and show you guys what we're working with. This is the X10S. We've done all the um, uh, changes to the firmware, and we just recently changed the firmware that we loaded for OpenTX from the internal access module and external access mod to just the standard, which means it's running um, uh, IXJT. Uh, and not ISRM. ISRM is for access. IXJT is for D16 and D8. Okay, so we still have the D8 and D16 set up in here internally, and we're going to add the R9M uh, access module now. So here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the module, remove the back tray here, right? Line it up, and just pop it right in. Okay, that's it. That's the that's the first thing. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over to our um, OpenTX here. Uh, the browser and we're actually going to go to the internet and we're going to go to our products and we're going to go to our modules and we're going to go to the 900 megahertz r9 from free sky okay once we click that we're going to go and try to find the discontinued one because we're not using the 2019 right now so we're going to go to the discontinued version and we're going to find it right here bam and when we do that, we are going to go down and go to downloads. And then we're going to go to our firmware. So the firmware that they have right here is uh, the most recent. I do not know what their older firmware is. I'm not going to worry about it right now. We're going to take the newest one. So we're going to go ahead and click download. And that's going to actually be downloaded here into our downloads folder into a zip file. So we're going to click the arrow, click show in folder. And we're going to right click on that file, left click on cut. And we're going to go to our uh, radio folder, which is for the X10 right here, and we are going to paste here. Okay, there's there it is right there. And now we're going to right click on it, left click on extract all, click extract. It's going to be a pretty small file. And it's going to open for us. And if you double click on it, you see you're going to have multiple file folders inside here, and we can leave those just like that. So get to the main R9M folder right here. Right click on it, left click on cut. Go to your X10 folder, go to your SD card, go to firmware, and we're still going to call this a transmitter, so it's going to go under the TX, FreeSky TX firmware, right click, left click on paste. Okay, so now we have our R9M ACCST firmware loaded right here as well. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to synchronize our radio with OpenTX. So let's go ahead and get our radio and hold the sliders in, press the power button, wait for the click, there you go. When that's ready, go ahead and plug in your uh, mini USB. And we're going to wait for those files to pop up because that's what's going to happen before we can do anything else. Wait for these folders to pop up because if not, they just kind of get in your way. Excellent. Now, once they're in here, you can go ahead and close them. Now, all we want to do is we want to transfer the files over that we just put in our SD card folder. So we're going to click the synchronize and we're going to click start. It's going to go very quick. Uh, what does it say? At least one of the transitions. Radio minus TXT. Hmm. Okay, we'll see what's, what's that about. Oh, the dates is in the future. Hmm. I'll have to go check and see. Maybe my date on my radio is off. I don't know. Oh, because when I set this up, I think it said for uh, November. That was my mistake. I had set the radio for November by accident, so that, that might make sense there. So it's creating four files right here, and these four files are part of our R9M folder that we downloaded, okay? All right, and that's good. So now we click close, and then we're going to go ahead and we are going to eject. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this again. I just want to see if it still gives me that error, and it does. Okay, so I'll go ahead, and uh, it says the SD card radio models.txt. All right, so let me go ahead and see what it's claiming that file is. So let's go to my, I'm curious, it says radio and then models. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to really worry about that. All right, so let me just close this, and then we're going to safely eject, and then safely eject again. OK, 
okay and now we can unplug the radio there we go and then we're going to go to exit okay welcome to open tx throttle warning okay now what we're going to do is we're going to create a second model here well we, we, could, we could call it the first model it doesn't matter but um, before we do anything we want to update the firmware on our on our um on our R9 module in the back, right? So let's just go ahead and hold the system button down, hit the page button one time, go to our firmware folder, scroll down to FreeSky TX firmware, find the R9 M ACCST, and then we're gonna use the FCC version, and we're gonna hold that down, and we're gonna tell it to flash external module, okay? And it's gonna start writing the update. Let's see if I can get that to read. It's hard to read that screen, I guess. Let me see if I angle it, maybe. No. Let's leave it like that, and it should turn off here in just a second. There. Just like that. Okay, so now that that's done, let me go ahead and click this here. All right, so once it says successful, that's it. So now what you do is hold your model button down, and now you can actually use your external. Now, if you turn this off, right, then the lights are gonna go off on the back of this, right? There's nothing there. But what you can do now is once you turn it on, you can scroll under external RF, scroll to R9M, okay? And then you're gonna leave it on FCC, and you're ready to go. Now your light is on and you can also set your power. Okay, and, and that's it. So everything here is set to, um, to work so that you can now have your, you've got your firmware updated for this and it is now able to work with this radio here. You have no problem at all. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. That's a pretty quick video on how to do this one. Now, obviously the big question is gonna be, all right, we've got the X10 and we wanna have access on it. So what are we gonna do? Well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this radio up, take out the internal uh, IHJT module, put in a new internal ISRM module. That will be for access. Then you can use access internally and externally, plus use D16. The only thing you cannot do is use D8 unless you have an external module for that as well. And we'll be back to show you that in just a minute, guys. Talk to you soon. And please don't forget, subscribe to our channel below and also visit us on Facebook above. And other than that, guys, God bless, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.